morning. Hello, hello, hello. Hi everybody, Stacy here from Creatively Stacy. Thank you for stopping by my page. <laughs> welcome, welcome if you're new. And uh, if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. It's Wednesday, life's crazy. And uh, I think I've been a little bit prickly this week. So I thought I'd paint it out. If you guys can join me. Um, I want to thank everybody that does um, send me your paintings in a private message or post them to my page. If you paint what I've painted, I love it when you share your work. It just really, I just love it. So please feel free to do that. I love to see what you're up to. Um, so never hesitate. Um, and if you do post it to my page, I would be more than happy to, to repost it so everybody sees it because it goes to someplace funny. I don't know where it goes. <laughs> Hi, Christine. Good morning. How's your weather there today? We're warm again, but we have a snowstorm coming, so we'll see. It's not supposed to get here till like Saturday. Morning, Debbie. <laughs> so, anyways, I've had a crazy, crazy week already, and it's only Wednesday. And uh, finally getting some time to sit down and, and do a little of what I call my art therapy. So I'm glad you guys are coming along. I hope you will try to paint this as well. And uh, send it to me in a message or post it if you do. So I'd love to see it. I'm um, going to do some cactus today and uh, sweeten them up a little bit for uh, Valentine's as well. You know, kind of bring it all together just for fun. A um, couple announcements. So the I'm in a group called the Social Divas, which is a, a mastermind group, uh, business training. And there are artists from all over the United States and states in there, and they do everything. They do home decor, they do jewelry, they do uh, body products, um, painting, uh, just all sorts of things. And they're having an auction next week, and it is in a private group. And everything that's in there, they always start it at at least 30% off, if not more, than their um, regular priced items. So if you're not in that group and you are interested, uh, just send me a PM. I will be sharing a post from them at some point. Uh, just life's been crazy and I haven't been to the computer. 50 degrees, Christine? Oh, nice. Do you have sunshine? We have hazy gray day here, but at least it's warm. So, so anyways, so that's uh, coming up on that. And I will be doing a paint party here in the very near future, you guys. Just um, for those of you that aren't aware in my personal life, um, we've had some... We've had an accident in the family that has um, kind of changed our schedules, and um, so planning is a little bit difficult for me right now, so I have not set a date for that, but I, I'll get back to you. In the meantime, you'll have to take my short and sweet, just uh, quick go-throughs, and uh, hope you enjoy it. So, let's paint! I already did the background, of course, because I wanted it to dry. Use my parchment paper. And did a little sketching. Lots of fog this morning. Oh, I hope we both get some sunshine. We need it. Brighten up our gray days here in the winter. I'm ready to go to Florida. I'm going next month. I'm ready to go now. <laughs> oh, well. We'll get there. So, because we're doing cactus, we'll start with some green and some white and some black on our on our plate so we can make um, some different shades. You guys know I like to mix the colors. If you're new here, I try to use the primary colors, red, blue, yellow, white, and black, so that, oh, so see, this is, this is my week. This is what's going on. I just put green on my plate twice. Now, I don't need that much green, but this is, this is life right now, guys. <laughs> I hope everything will be okay. Sorry to hear that. Oh, me too. Me too, Christine. But that's what's throwing me off, I think, is just your brain gets out of control and it's hard to concentrate. So this painting could go any which way. You guys might be in for a real adventure today. Who knows? Oh, Lord. 
So now I got lots of green. <laughs> but if you don't have green, yellow and blue make green. So just make your own, whatever shade you like. And so for cactus, if you are not aware, they are in all sorts of shapes and sizes. So you can really go as wild and crazy as you want to. And you can't go wrong. So it's, it's pretty cool. Easy plant to paint. No right or wrong. Just start throwing down some paint. Stress is wicked. That is, that is the truth. That is the truth. I gotta get it together. I'm, uh, I need to get some sleep. That's what I need to do. But I try to sleep. I go to bed early. Uh, you know, all the things. And then I wake up in the wee hours. So, hoping to really... Sooner or later, I'm, I'm sure your body just gets exhausted enough that you just sleep. So that, that's my theory anyways. Ah, I'm tired of getting up early. I want to sleep until I don't even know when, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. We'll see. So anyways, I'm just throwing down some green, kind of outlining some shapes of whatever I think might be my base of my cactus here. Let's make this guy a little more wiggly, right? Have a little fun with it. Need to have a little fun. That's why we do this. But this one I love because you guys, anybody could, you, anybody could do this because it's so forgiving. So if you haven't tried any of my paintings yet, Today is your day, right? So, just throwing down some green. Can you guys see okay? I hope you can see okay. And then I'm going to take that same green and I'm going to mix a little bit of white with it to lighten it up. Give me a different shade. Okay, you can see. I'm going to pick one of my cactuses because I don't want them all to be the same same color. I want them to be in the same color family, so I'm using that same base. I'll lighten one up a little. If this all goes well, you guys, I won't use my blow dryer, but I'm not making any promises today. All right. bright on the camera <laughs> and I'm gonna take that same green and I'm just gonna take a touch of black black is really strong so don't use hardly any and if you get too much just add more green until you get to the shade you're looking for I just want it to be a little bit darker a little bit deeper than this one over here see on here that it's just gives you just a little bit difference in the shades we're gonna jazz these guys up too so don't worry about it too much I can't believe I poured the green twice that's all the green I was planting well and no, I'll use some green in the leaves but there's no way I'm gonna use up all that green let's put some put some leaves down I'm gonna put some flowers down to soften this up for um, a little more sweetheart feel to it so we'll do some some leaves for that so I'm just going to touch into my green and my white so I'm getting both both on my brush it's not very scientific it's just random the more you mess with it the more they're going to blend if you blend them more than you like you can go back and do some detailing on the back side so no worries. So I'm just uh, putting a couple of petals down, which are just elongated C diamond shapes. How do you like that for an explanation? That's that's what you're getting today is my 
thought process is not great. But I can put down some paint and enjoy it and relax with you guys. And so that's what we're doing. There we go. Just random. Nothing, uh, don't think about it too much. You're just filling in some space, laying down some color, right? That's pretty good. You can see on the ones that I didn't go over them too many times how you just get that variation by just putting two colors on your brush and doing some quick swipes. I'm just using acrylics today to get it. I'm telling you, I'm using acrylics today, you guys. Bear with me. Oh my goodness. Why, oh why, what was I thinking? I was thinking I haven't painted with you guys in a long time. And I enjoy it. And I wanted to do something fun. If I can just get my brain and words to cooperate with me today will be golden. Alright, so I just put some red on my plate. I'm going to do the same thing with the um, red and white as I did with the green and white. I'm using a little angled brush, using the same brush. I just rinsed it off. I'm going to just touch into my white and my red. I'll put some, yeah, I'll we'll start down here. Just to get some of that off my brush. Put some little flowers on our cactus, right? Everybody loves a good blooming cactus. And I'm just doing little swirlies, nothing, nothing fancy. Just giving them a little color. To start with. And we'll go back down here and do these flowers. And I don't even care that my leaves are still wet and some green might play into it. It's all good. This is just for fun, you guys. Just a little bit of relaxation. Nothing serious. Not painting a Picasso today. <laughs> Lord help me if I tried. I just wanted to show you how you could do something simple, quick and easy. Um, you could do this on a card if you're making a, a card for somebody and uh, you could do it just on a piece of paper and put it in a picture frame just to have a little something to set on your shelf for Valentine's that would be cute you know just a little something sweet to liven up your house and put a little color in in these gray days. Oh, the Christmas cactus. I just love blooming flowers in the winter. You know, all my house plants are like, um, well, I killed that fern. Oh, gosh, that thing. Oh, but all my house plants are like succulents, and I don't have any um, blooming flowers right now, so I need to, I need to do that. I need to get, I need to get something that's blooming. I need some flowers. I'm with you. So I've done a lot of tutorials on these flowers and in the Layla um, group, the paid group that I did, um, I actually went through the flowers in a little more detail. Um, but if you just get out your paintbrush and practice and try them, you'd be amazed. The biggest trick with them is to not overdo them. That's really all, that's really the main deal is just do a couple of strokes and leave them be. You can go back and um, touch them up if you decide that that's what you want to do. But um, the more you mess with them, the worse they get. <laughs> so leave them alone. So I'm just putting these cactus in a little cup or pot or whatever down here. And if you do your paintings kind of loose and I like to call shabby style, you don't have to be 
so precise. It doesn't have to be exact measurements. It doesn't have to be perfectly proportioned. You want that whimsical look to it. It really makes art so much more fun. It just makes everything simpler. So I highly recommend trying it. If you are a perfectionist and you need everything to be exactly just so, this might drive you nuts. Because <laughs> it's not going to be. And I'll show you some tips and tricks at the end with just uh, lining things that really bring it all to life. So yeah. And you can see I'm repeating colors in the painting. I've, you know, I've got green in a couple of places. I've got white in a couple of places. I've got that red and pink in a couple of places. That's how you kind of bring it all together. I need a Christmas cactus or an African violet. You know, I don't like those African violets. I don't like the fuzzy leaves. My mom has a Christmas cactus. So I could, if I can, of course hers doesn't bloom all the time and I don't, I think they're fussy, I'm not sure. But I think if I looked up how to take a clipping, I could steal part of her Christmas cactus and figure that out. Am I the only one that doesn't like leaves, fuzzy leaves on plants? That's why I don't like those lamb's ear either. I don't like the fuzzy leaves. And when I was growing up, we had poppies that had fuzzy leaves. Ugh, I was terrified of those things. I don't, I don't know what it is. Weird. Very weird. <laughs> okay, so now we've got a little pot down started. So I'm going to wash this off. So I'm going to just go back on that one leaf a little bit that's into the pot. And just bring this back over it. There. We'll do this one too. There. Perfect. See? Easy. Fix it right up. Rinse that off. I'm going to get a smaller brush. Eh, I think these are called detail brushes. Just a little, where are you? <laughs> Hi. A little pointy little brush. I'm going to get it wet. Roll it off. I'm going to dab it in the white. Roll it off so I don't have a lot on my brush. It's actually, it's a little wet. Let me wipe that off. There we go. Maybe we'll just put some little prickles on our cactus here, which basically I'm just putting, you can do V's, I'll do V's on this one. You can do V's, you can do like three lines, um, you can do whatever you want, it's your cactus. But just to give it the impression of a little something going on here. Are you seeing it? <laughs> And let's see, this one will do, you know, sometimes they have the little, I'm getting flower pink all over me. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have a chipmunk keeps running by my window, or a red squirrel, I don't know, a little furry critter. That um, we have a bird feeder out there, and he is very happy. He makes a lot of trips all day long, back and forth, back and forth. He must have many stashes. <laughs> I don't care as long as he stays outside; he he can be out there. So you can see we're just giving some different, changing up our cactuses, giving them some, giving them some love. Get pink all over me. Oh, where's my? It's really gonna try not to blow dry you guys today, but that's really getting to be annoying. <laughs> oh, I have to. Maybe I'll have to stand up to. This one I'm just doing X and a line. 
line and a line. So two X's crossing each other. X and another X. Nothing, nothing precise, just given, given it some interest. <coughs> Excuse me. You can do anything you want. You could do polka dots, you could do triangles. It's whimsical, so you've got options, right? So that's where we're at so far. Spinning around here. All right, so we've done that. We're going to go ahead and do some lining with the white, and then we'll break out the black and um, have a little fun. Oh, I got, look what I got. Everybody was telling me I needed to get a mister. Look how pretty this is. I got a mister. I should use it. That's missed something. There. <laughs> I was using just a regular squirt bottle, which is fine if that's what you have. But everybody said, you got to get a mister. And I saw this one with those roses on it. I mean, how cute is it? Come on. It is just adorable. I probably spent too much money on it. I don't even know what I spent on it. I just, I had to have it. I didn't even look. I just, oh. Sometimes <laughs> retail therapy get me in trouble, but it is what it is. So now I'm just doing some dashes. I'm not worrying about being precise with anything. Just getting some paint down. You could do some wiggles if you want. Right? It's a nice thing about whimsical paintings. You can do anything the mood strikes you as, right? There. And you don't have to worry about being perfect. They can be thin, they can be thick. It really doesn't matter, it's just whatever you like. Where did you get it? Huh? You're gonna kill me because you, they don't. You can't get it. I, they're at. I, I'm a hairdresser, and we have a a, a professional store that only hairdressers can shop at, and that's where I bought it at. See, I shouldn't have even shown you. They've got to have them like on Amazon and stuff like that. They have to. I don't know. I don't. I. I just. <laughs> I was buying hair supplies, and I was looking at their water bottles, because yes, we need those, and they had that, and there you go. So, I something about those roses, you guys, you know. So I'm just drawing some white on my, my leaves. I'm actually going to go right into my flowers and just put a little swirl on some of those. Just playing with it, you guys. No, no rhyme or reason. It's just paint. If you overdo it and don't like it, paint over it, right? I'll show you where I'm at with that before I switch to the black. So you can see in my flowers, I just put a line in each flower. I put some around the leaves. You can see this flower actually even has some green in it because it picked up on my brush. And that's, that's awesome. Just did some lining on the cactuses. Um, now you could go in and do a lot more shading on the cactuses. You could do more variations on the green. Um, I'm just doing a quick and simple one. I use a paint box and a mister would be great. I use a paint, I'm trying to, <laughs> Christine, I'm trying to read this and my phone's on a slant. Paper towel and place it on top before I close the lid get more into painting several artists or hairdressers well you know it's the creative creative gene in us we can't we can't help ourselves we we have to be doing something all the time and uh yeah so there you go i know a lot of hairdressers that like to paint or do all sorts of crafts really they're very very crafty 
We're a crafty bunch. Okay. This black's been on my thing for a while, but it seems to be okay. All right. So let's go and decorate our pot, right? Let's see if this brush will work for me. It's a little bit ratty, but it's okay. Let's start from the bottom up. How about that? I keep my paint brushes forever, you guys, and I keep saying I'm going to throw them out when they get really ratty, and then I don't. And it's poking into that flower again. I'm not getting out my blow dryer. I'm going to learn to pick up my hand, making a mess. If you guys had a heart stencil, that would be really cool here too. That would be easy. Instead of trying to make hearts with a roughed up old brush. You know, I have a million brushes over there. I could go get another brush, but here we are. We're going to deal with it today. If I don't like it, I'll just paint the whole thing white and redo them. <laughs> oh man, I should change brushes. Making it work, making it work. We'll fix them. They'll be okay, really. There we go. <laughs> okay, that's enough of the hearts with this brush. Drive me crazy. Just go to polka dots and then I don't have to even think about it. How about that? When all else fails, add polka dots. Easy fix to all things whimsical. They fit with everything. They fit everywhere. And they're cute as a button. Right? Now we have a polka dotted, polka dotted heart plant holder. This would be really cute with a ribbon on it, you guys, if you were feeling feeling it. My um, brain isn't helping today, so I don't think I'll be uh, trying a ribbon. It's usually not that difficult, but apparently today that's how things are going. So everything's difficult. We'll just roll with it. Ah, good morning, Megan. Glad to see you. Is it snowing in Syracuse or is it nice up there? It's nice down here, warm. Storm coming this weekend though, so you guys be careful. All right, so now I got, I grabbed the liner brush. I could have used that same brush I used for the white. I just, I grabbed a different brush, but same thing. Just get a brush, a thin one. We're gonna, I wet my, I misted my black. Um, had the mister. I'm going to actually go into these flowers too here. And, um, just going to do some lines. You can see with the lining, how it just defines things. And I need a little more misting. I don't know where I missed it. That's the problem with the mister, you can't hardly see it. Gloomy and 40 degrees. Yeah, we got the same weather here. We'll, we'll enjoy it while it lasts, right?
you can see some of my lines are thick and some of my lines are thin. Um, that's intentional, you guys. I'm not trying to make um, everything the same. I don't want everything to be the same. I do want to stop putting my arm in my roses, but that's apparently not going to happen today. So fine. Put a little in the center of my roses there. Darken them up a little. Darken them up for my prickly day. Yeah. Do -do -do. And we gotta do our cup. Because our cup's all white. And that's no fun. See what I mean by if you just do wiggly lines and squiggly lines and dots and dashes and things, you don't have to worry about everything being precise and perfect. Then we'll add a little black tire cactuses in here. I'm going to go into these stars. Oh, maybe I'm not. Let's try again. Apparently this brush has such a fine point it's just making teeny tiny little dots I guess that's what I wanted right who knows there we go I think fun fun maybe I'll take a little of that dark green that I made earlier for this cactus just do a little bit of shading here around this one. Maybe down here where these guys are close together. A little bit down here too. Just random. Yeah, I'll take a little bit of this light that we did and the middle one, which is dry, so I can use my mister. There we go. I don't know who, I don't know how many people told me I needed one of those. Now I'm just overjoyed with it. It's the little things, you guys. It's the little things. Just putting a little light at the top of this one. Right? Maybe we'll put a little light at the top of this one, too. Why not? There you go. So anyways, sweet and fun, something to do. I hope you will try it. Send it to me in Messenger, post it on my page, get crazy with it, embellish it however, however you like, whatever makes you happy. Have some fun. Thank you, you guys, for joining me. If you pop on later, hit replay. Tell me, tell me you were here. Have a great Wednesday, and uh, <laughs> let's hope uh, I get it together. But I know the painting sure helps. All right, thank you, everybody. Bye.